Our lesson for today is about the flow of matter and energy in the Earth systems. In the previous lesson, we talked about the four subsystems of planet Earth. Now, in these four subsystems, actually matter and energy flows from one system to another. So Earth is a complex system made up of many smaller systems through which matter and energy are continuously added. So So here we can see the different subsystems of the Earth. So here in these four subsystems, matter and energy actually flows from one system to another. So padding from hydrosphere to atmosphere, or atmosphere to biosphere or from biosphere to geosphere or geosphere to hydrosphere or pwede rin naman na from for example from geosphere to atmosphere or hydrosphere to biosphere okay so matter and energy flows from one system to another. Okay, we will have an example of how matter flows from one system to another. We will use the carbon cycle. So the carbon cycle, okay. here we have a picture of an animal and plants. Okay. 
So, how does the carbon cycle uh, works? Okay. So, plants needs carbon dioxide for photosynthesis. Okay. Now, where does carbon dioxide comes from? Carbon dioxide comes from the respiration of animals. So animals give up carbon dioxide, okay? And then plants take in carbon dioxide and through the process of photosynthesis, through the help of the sun, okay, plants produce carbohydrates. So eventually, itong carbohydrates naman, so by the way, ang uh, chemical composition of carbohydrates are actually made up of carbon, yung C6, H12, O6, okay, or sugars. So carbohydrates are eaten by animals, okay? So eventually, babalik yung carbon sa animals, okay? Then, uh, so ano nangyayari? From, ito yung animals, pwede natin i-consider na they belong to the biosphere, okay? And, carbon is emitted in the atmosphere, here in the air. Then, it is taken again by plants which belong to the biosphere. So, parang nagkakaroon ng uh, uh, flow of matter from one system to another. Okay. So, ang pwede rin mangyari, when, when animals die, mapupunta sila sa soil. So, magdedecay sila, okay. eventually they become fossil fuels. And eventually, they will be used by fossil fuels, yun yung mga oil, charcoal. They will be used by the factories. Okay. So, yung mga factories magbubugaya ng uso. In the form of carbon dioxide. Okay. So, and this is an example of how matter flows from one system to another. Okay. Another example of how matter and energy flow in the earth system is the water cycle or the hydrological cycle. Okay. So in the water cycle, so sa water cycle, energy from the atmosphere or from the heat of the sun nagagaling dito okay. will heat up the hydrosphere hydrosphere ito yung pumusong bodies of water eventually this body of water will evaporate so they will absorb energy from the heat of the sun, they will evaporate, okay, when we say evaporate, uh, liquid water will form into water vapor, in the form of or water to gas, so they will rise up, and they will undergo the process of condensation. Ito na yung mga nakikita nating clouds, okay? Uh, yung clouds actually are water vapor na nanggaling dito sa uh, hydrosphere. Uh, they, they, they were, uh, other goods na nang evaporation. So, naging clouds na sila. Okay. So, eventually, mag-a-undergo rin sila ng water condensation, okay? For the reverse of evaporation. So, 
parang yung water vapor gas slowly they will become liquid okay so eventually they will go back again to the ground okay so pag sila uh, bumabana from sa in the form of clouds naging rain na sila so ang tawag na natin sa kanila call it precipitation okay so gandal sila ng precipitation or in the form of rain babagsak na babagsak ulit sila dito sa sa land okay so kung makikita natin heat from the atmosphere and heat uh, in, uh, uh, na absorb ng hydrosphere ng heat so the water evaporated bumalik sa atmosphere okay then eventually it will uh, go back to the ground in the form of rain okay so then so dito most probably, marami mga organisms dito. So, pwede natin, we can say that this part is a part of the biosphere. So, ito mga part na to. Or dito, may mga pieces dito. Is the, yun na nakatira. Okay. So, yun. So, this is just a simple diagram of how matter and energy can flow in the different subsystems of the planet Earth. Okay, just to summarize, so I'll just read it. I'll just read our topic for today: flow of matter and energy in the Earth systems. So, Earth is a complex system made up of many smaller systems through which matter and energy are continuously added. Thank you for watching.